friends! Today we're going to be doing an art project together. I'm going to show you how to make bubble monsters. Um, let's get started! So here are all the materials that you're going to need. You can get some little cups to use so that we can mix all of our colors together. I have some paints here, yellow, red, blue, and white. And we will be talking about color mixing in a little bit. Um, I have a chopstick here just to mix my colors together, uh, a pen so that when we're done making the body of the monsters, we can draw in some eyes and some arms and legs. You're going to need a straw. And if you don't have a straw, you can just roll up a piece of paper or make a straw using something in your house. Um, we're going to need some dish soap, some water, and then some paper or canvas to put our bubble monsters on. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to mix some of our colors. I'm going to take yellow here and put some in this cup right here. And then I'm going to take some blue and I'm gonna mix it in with the yellow. Friends, what do you think will happen when I mix the blue in with the yellow? What color do you think it'll change into? Let's see what happens when I mix some blue in with the yellow. I'm gonna get my trusty old chopstick here and I'm gonna mix, mix, mix it all up. Whoa! What color is that, my friends? It might be a little hard to see here, but it turned green. That's so cool. I just made green by mixing up yellow and blue. I think I wanna make this color a little bit lighter. How can I do that? How can I make this green look like a light green? Hmm. Should I add more blue? No, I don't think so. Should I add some white? Let's see what happens if I add some white to this green. All right. I'm gonna take my chopstick and mix, 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 mix. It looks like the green is a little bit lighter than it was before. Beautiful, now I have a really pretty light green color here. Let's see what other colors we can make. For this cup, I'm gonna mix blue and then I'm gonna take some red. What color do you think I'll make if I mix red and blue. Hmm. Let's see what happens. Here's the red and the blue. And now I'm going to try to wipe off some of the green that's on the chopstick and then use the same one just to mix, mix, mix all of the colors together. You have to make sure you mix all of them. Get all the blue, all the red, mix it, mix it, mix it, and then, ooh, let's see. That looks like a dark purple color. Let's see, do I wanna use a dark purple? I think what I'm feeling like doing is making a light purple for my project. You guys can use whatever shade of purple you'd like or any colors that you'd like. I'm thinking I'm gonna try to make this a little bit lighter. So do you remember what we do if we wanna make a color lighter? Yep, you got it. We add some white to the mix. White makes colors go from their dark color to a lighter color. I'm gonna add some white in there. And then I'm gonna take my chopstick or my mixer and mix all of the colors together. Ooh, and I'm starting to see that it's changing. 
It's turning into, ooh, a very, very pretty light purple, kind of like a lavender color. And I'm going to put this down now so that we can mix our last color. Now, if you guys want to make more colors, you can make as many as you want for your for your little monsters that we'll make later. And now for this one, I'm going to mix some yellow and some red. What do you think will happen if I mix red and yellow? I'm hearing some really great guesses from you guys. Let's see what will happen if I mix some red in with the yellow. Now again, you have to try to wipe off all the paint from your little mixer first so we don't mix up too many colors. And then, you guys see that? Whoa, I got a completely different color. Instead of yellow or red, I got, that's right, I got orange. How cool, I mixed red and yellow and I got orange. I'm happy with this color. I think I'm gonna keep it that way. Now, let's move on to our next step. For this next step, we're going to have to get some of our dish soap. So I have this one here. You guys can use whichever one you'd like, whichever one you have at home. And then fill the tops of your paint with some dish soap. That's how we're going to get all of our bubbles to form. And then we're going to take some water and I have this little cup here to help me pour. I'm gonna put the cup in, take some of the water and pour water on top of our paint. What happens when we mix water and soap, my friends? What happens when we're washing our hands, we put some soap on our hands and then scrub with water? Yep, that's right, we get little bubbles. And so this is where the fun part happens, my friends. I want you to get your straw. We're gonna put it in the paint and then I want you to gently blow some bubbles. Let's do that together. All right, my friends, I have the green color in front of me here. I'm gonna mix, mix, mix first. Mix all of the soap, mix all of the water, all of the paint together. And then remember, we're trying to blow bubbles. So are we going to drink this water? No way, Jose. We are going to blow out into the paint to create little bubbles and if I blow really hard, what do you think would happen? Yeah, I think it might go everywhere and we don't want that. We just want little bubbles to form because once we get those bubbles, we're gonna put the bubbles onto our paper and that will be the creation of our little monsters. So now that I've mixed it, I'm gonna take my straw and I'm gonna blow in Look at all of my bubbles. And now I'm gonna show you what I do after I get the bubbles. Now that I have these bubbles here, I'm going to get my straw and move them over onto the paper. And now all the bubbles are on the paper. Another thing you can do is you could get some of the paint and then blow from the straw out onto the paper. I'm gonna do the same thing now with all of the other colors. Let's see how our little monsters will look after I'm done with that. I'm trying to get bubbles to go all over my paper and you can even just splatter some on too. 
you could be very creative with this project. I finished making all the bubbles onto my paper. Now I'm going to wait for all the bubbles to pop and wait for the paint to dry so that I can start to draw all of my little arms and eyes for these little monsters that we're making. Let's see what happens if I start to blow on the bubbles. Whoa, I just made them move. Why don't you try blowing on the bubbles and see what happens? Ooh, you can even move the paint around so that you can get paint all over the other sides. Maybe you can get your straw and blow with the straw all around the paper. Okay, friends, our paint is mostly dried onto our paper now. So I'm gonna take my little pen here and have fun and draw some eyes, maybe some arms, some legs. Maybe I'll draw a tail. Let's see what our little monsters look like when I start to draw on them. I'm gonna draw some big eyes for this guy. If you don't have a pen, you could also use paint and paint on here. I'm gonna give him a little tongue here. That's one of my little monsters. Maybe draw little arms, little legs here. And then I'm gonna draw another one here. and all of your eyes can look super different. And maybe I'll give this one a nose. <laughs> and some squiggly arms and some squiggly legs. There's my other little monster. Maybe I'll draw one more right here. Draw some eyes, draw a smile some arms and some legs and you guys can just keep doing that all over your paper and here it is here are my little monsters here I also got some paint decided to use some paint for some of the faces and here they are you can make them look as silly as you want you can make as many as you want you can make more colors spread them out. You can have a lot of fun doing this project. And there you have it. You have all these little monsters now that you can play with and keep creating with your friends at home. Um, thank you so much for making them with me. Maybe you can bring them to school when school starts again and show us what your little monsters look like. Did you name them? What color are they? Are some of your monsters fuzzy? Are some of your monsters spiky? Do some of your monsters have three arms and four legs? I cannot wait to see them. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon. Bye.